Good morning from Chuckawalla, guys. Back on. It's a Friday. We did a quick escape. I'm here with Nick. We met my buddy Frank, who's locked and loaded with that KTM. With that, we got our little KTMs at 400 and the Ninja. And yeah, this is gonna be pretty good. Let's go. We're waking up. <laughs> Peace. All right. You guys remember this? Yup. This is the KTM RC8C. We had the absolute pleasure to talk to one of the owners, one of the very few owners in America. I think there's nine owners in North America uh, that had a chance to snatch one of these. He got it from Miami. And uh, we brought it with him for a bunch of sessions at Chuckawalla Raceway, and we got to ask him about it and interview him and see how it feels. Here, it Frank, out. tell us, how was your day today over to the track? It was great, had great instructions from Santi. On a 390, we went out there training today since I've never been here before, so it was really exciting. I had a great time, nobody fell off, so it was awesome. Cool, and how do you feel about your bike? Tell us a little bit, how does it feel accelerating, cornering, braking, like as you're getting familiar with it, what, do you, what, are, what are your biggest takes? It's the best bike I've ever ridden in my life. It's like it's very unique. It's like I got fortunate enough to win an auction in order to get it from KTM through my salesman Rick Henson, Palmetto Motorsports in my name in Miami. Uh, he called me one morning and said it was available, so I was able to buy it. It's like really cool. It's like second Christmas for life. <laughs> how does it feel when you're riding it today on the track? Like when you're in your fastest like laps, how does it feel? cornering, braking, all of these sensations. Feels really good. You feel everything what's on the track, every imperfection on it. It's like acceleration is amazing. Braking is amazing. I mean, the bike, you don't have to do anything to it. It came fully equipped like a road race bike. So closest to a Moto2 bike you can buy. So what do you think about the braking in this bike? Braking is crazy, super on point too much for me because I always brake very very early and everybody tells me brake very very late and I could do it on this bike but I don't have the balls for it so there we are but hopefully it gets better in time so we'll see what do you think about acceleration with the weight uh, how light is this uh, bike it's 308 pounds 128 horsepower the, it's a perfect weight ratio versus power yeah so it's, usually, it's basically the weight of a 390 with four times the power so it's it's really really cool that's crazy then the sound of it is totally amazing yeah I and mean, you feel like you're a gp rider on this thing yeah it's an acropovic no acropovic exhaust the, yeah acropovic full exhaust and then uh dimec wheels wp suspension front and rear top of the line stuff kramer built the chassis ktm made the tech 3 ktm bodywork knock one off basically so got the little spoilers on there so it's really really trick this thing and tell me what's going what what is what is extreme cycles extreme cycles is a bike shop i own in Sicily city california and then xc1 transport is my transport company i deliver empty wine bottles throughout california and those are my main sponsors whoever pays me is my sponsor <laughs> that's how we're gonna do this over here so <laughs> And then where can we find it? Where can we find your work and your website and everything? I'll put I'll put the content so people can find your email like uh, in the link yeah, below, it's, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's extremecycles at yahoo.com. That's my email. And it's how you can find me if you need it to find me. So can you build one of these? You were telling me earlier you could yeah. build something yeah, similar, we, no? We could make one. We could buy Kramers and then get some KTM body work for anybody who likes it, and then I can start building it for people. Probably gonna be a little more expensive but can be done to get the look across so the bike is the same basically brakes chassis aim uh navigation system for track layovers and stuff like that so that's, that's all on the gp2r from Prima also and then the body work basically the exhaust is different from ktm but other than that it's the same identical machine so i90 twin engine in it from ktm they also make a 690 kramer and then they used to make a 790 but i don't think they make it anymore at this point and then if anybody wants to buy a kramer there's a guy named joe it's in uh, north 
Dakota and it's Kramer Motorcycles USA and you can find parts for the bikes there and you also can buy the whole bike there so trying Fantastic. to be a dealer for them at one point maybe but with COVID and stuff everything got a little delayed so I'm working on that at this point so hopefully it will work out one of these days Fantastic dude well good shit amazing ride and yeah peace